Be from Catalyst Energies. Thank you for joining me. I'm so grateful that you're here. Uh, it's December 31st, 2019, and this is your daily catalyst. It is still dark on the West Coast right now, and the sleep state has been uh, not exactly, I wouldn't say it's been disrupted, but it certainly has been confusing and kind of intense in my dream world. It usually is for me, but um, lately, especially with this moon in Pisces, it's been more so. So I woke up pretty early and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to uh, take advantage of the quiet and the darkness to um, do this uh, catalyst today. We have our moon. She's still in Pisces. She's going to be transiting Pisces all day again. Also going to be conjuncting with Neptune in Pisces today. Um, but before we get there, let's... Uh, back up a little bit and just talk about the moon being in Pisces still. Um, there's not a ton of aspects that are super strong today. Um, however, what is happening is still very dreamy and watery and it can feel like being in a float tank and that can go either way depending on how you feel about float tanks. It could be an opportunity for relaxing and dissolving into yourself and into the experience. Um, your body has an opportunity to unwind, your mind has an opportunity to unwind, but if you're somebody that is not comfortable with this space, it can be, um, it could be kind of scary. It could be, um, it's dark, you, there's sensory deprivation, you don't necessarily know where you are in space, um, you don't, you can't really hear anything, and so that can be really disconcerting for people if they are not comfortable being in this space. Um, and that's where we are today, I think, especially with the moon conjuncting with Neptune later today, that is going to amplify that energy of being within ourselves in this watery, dreamy state where we get a lot of intuitive messages and dream states are, are heightened. Um, when we connect with the ruler of this realm, this is going to amplify that energy. And so if we're grounded and feeling safe and connected in our own self, then this is a really great opportunity to connect with source and to get a lot of um, insight and inspiration. But if we are not grounded or connected, this could certainly amplify those feelings as well. And it can be a delusional state and it can be a dissolution into um, a state of egolessness that's not exactly something that you want and can be very um, scary. And I think that we can really see this like playing out in outside of us in the collective more and more. I actually feel like that the split between the polarities of experience is becoming more obvious by the day. And you can really see that just like with all of these energies in astrology, there is a negative and a positive attribute to all of these archetypes and symbols that you know we have a choice in every moment to make use of the energies themselves are not they're not good or bad necessarily it's what we do with them and the choices that we make and so you can see i think that you can see the polarities between these options of choices um, becoming the gap is becoming wider and it seems like it's harder to necessarily, it seems like it's more difficult to um, connect to one side or the other um, as this gap is widening. The other thing I've noticed too is that it's also very easy for a person to also cross this gap on a regular basis. You know, one day you could be feeling very connected and feeling, uh, feeling like you're on the right path and feeling very hopeful and within less than a day you could find yourself in, in a completely different headspace and feeling very differently and um, really absorbing what's going on that's the other thing too with the moon and pisces conjuncting neptune and pisces there's such a there's such this potential to really absorb what's going on to be like a, an incredibly psychic sponge um, for what's going on and that can really impact your mood and it can really impact your emotional and mental health so it's something to just be be aware of as we move through the day um, but like I said it could be a pleasant float tank or it could be more like um, being left adrift in the ocean with nothing around you and depending on how firm and 
stable you are within yourself, that could be liberating or it could be terrifying. Um, so late, late, this, uh, late at night or early this morning, um, the moon did trine the North Node here in Cancer. Um, and this is the collective destiny um, to be focused on uh, self-worth and emotional containment and security and stability. Um, it, cancer allows us to be vulnerable because there is a, a container in which to hold our emotions and give us um, something to root into, basically. I actually feel like cancer is the float tank in some ways because the tank itself is this container and then in the tank is the salt water that you float in. And so I, I feel like cancer is this float tank. And so to have the moon trining here, this, you know, if we're willing to take, you know, to step into that float tank, we can allow ourselves to align with this moon in Pisces a lot easier because we can dissolve into ourselves, into um, our emotional and into our bodies as opposed to in our minds so much. And this is a really nice try. And I think it's very supportive of our collective um, movement towards supporting each other, supporting ourselves, finding um, vulnerability in order to, um, you know, express ourselves fully. Um, we aren't looking for mastery necessarily. Um, that comes with the conjunction with the moon and Neptune. But what we are looking for right now is just a place to hold our emotional space and to feel safe in. And um, I think this trying with the North Node and Cancer allows that to happen. Um, with the sun conjuncting the South Node just uh, yesterday right here, um, a sextile from the moon today could, uh, oh yeah, so the sextile to the sun right here. The sextile of the moon today could give us um, some more inspiration, psychic intuition about how to best let go of what we don't need anymore, which is the south node of what we collectively don't need anymore. Um, or it could add to the delusion of holding on to that somehow. It just depends on how you're aligning with the moon in Pisces. If we are feeling connected and intuitive and we're really receiving the messages that are coming to us. This could really give us some insight emotionally and spiritually about what to let go of that we don't need anymore. Um, there were a lot of sextiles to Capricorn on the day prior, so it's likely that what we experience with the sun today will be an extension of that energy with a bit of extra attention paid to what we are collectively meant to release. Uh, the Indian symbol for 10 degrees of uh, Capricorn, which is where the sun is today, has to do with nurturing our relationship to the collective and fostering that relationship by consistently doing something um, or actual things to build that relationship. Uh, the symbol itself is an albatross feeding from the hand of a person. So you have to actually work to provide something of material value in order to build that relationship. It's, it's necessary. And so the nurturing is not necessarily from a emotional, the sun today, emotional aspect, but from a material aspect. What are you actually providing to the community that's building a rapport, building a relationship, and in fact is nurturing that relationship because we still need to feed each other and we still need to provide shelter and we need to provide some sort of material resource in an exchange with each other to nurture that relationship. I think in alignment with the moon in this in Pisces today, this sextile will help us feel inspired to do this, um, especially if we know that we are letting go of something in particular when it comes to what we are building, what kind of attachment we have to uh, materialism. It's not that Capricorn is necessarily a bad thing and that we should like let go of all of that aspect. It's a necessary absolutely necessary part of the process of individuation and life on planet earth so nurturing our relationship to the collective in a material physical way is absolutely essential and the moon in pisces sextiling that today is just going to give us some inspiration and really connect this altruistic um, spiritual love aspect that we are developing within to this energy which i think is really um is very hopeful and it's gonna make us feel pretty good. Um, the afternoon and the evening end with, like I said, this moon and Neptune conjunction and all of this dreamy intuitive energy is really brought to a head. 
Um, Neptune has been sitting at this degree point for a while, so we're kind of getting used to the fact that we can't necessarily trust what we are being told by outside sources. Um, Neptune, the Pis Neptune and Pisces, um, one of the things that it rules is media and the information that's uh, the information that's coming in from all around. And this, we we're, 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 we've been in this place for a while, especially now that Neptune has gone direct um, as of last month. We're really, um, the delusion and the illusion is really ramping up, but it's also giving us an opportunity to sharpen our discernment. And that message has been coming up very strong um, the last day or so is the fog of delusion itself is just so thick right now. Um, so the moon lining up with here could really strengthen that delusion if we are not careful. Discernment is absolutely key right now. Um, we need to keep ourselves psychically safe and care about our psychic hygiene. And I don't want to be ominous or negative, but you know, the realm of Pisces is the morphogenetic field where the mystics swim, but the flip side of that is where the psychotics drown. And there's the potential for beautiful inspiration in this space. But there's also potential for psychosis and total delusion. And so it's very, and for things to come in, again, it's the psychic sponge. I mean, if we are not grounded and we are just letting anything come in that seems like it's, you know, that is anything that's communicating, anything that's coming in, any feelings, any any insights. And if we're not grounded and we're not putting them through our own perceptual fil perceptual filter, we can just let anything in. And this is not this is not necessarily good either. Um, the supportive connections to Capricorn the day prior and tomorrow, because they'll be sextile, the moon and Pisces will sextile Saturn and Pluto and Capricorn, um, I think will really ground these aspects to something tangible and material. Um, so I would say, and the sun as well, look towards these things to ground you and to anchor you because it's very easy to get lost in this energy if we are not grounded into something uh, real and material. So that's gonna be the catalyst for today. and. I really appreciate everybody being here. I appreciate all the support and the subscriptions. Um, if you are interested in a reading, especially a 2020 look, um, year ahead look, I'm gonna be offering that. You can check out um, all my information in the description box below and find out how to reach out and get a hold of me. I hope everybody is doing well. Have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Please stay safe uh, and take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.